second problem find the values of find the values of number 1 sin 67 and half degrees second cos 67 and half degrees third tan 67 and half degrees fourth cot 67 and half degrees so now this 67 and half degrees let us change as a complement of angle so that means the 67 and half degrees is the complement of the 67 and half degrees is how much that will be 22 and half so in all the, these four problems 67 and half degrees can be written as 90 degrees minus 22 and half degrees as already we have discussed all the values of sin 22 degrees cos 22 degrees tan 22 degrees and cot 22 degrees so directly we can find out the values of sin 67 and half degrees cos 67 and half degrees tan 67 and half degrees and also cot 67 and half degrees so let us proceed in this way so first problem the sin 67 and half degrees so this can be written sin of 90 degrees minus 22 and half degrees sin 90 minus theta is cos theta this equal to cot cos 22 and half degrees cos 22 and half degrees is root over root 2 plus 1 by 2 root 2 let us go to the second problem second problem the cos 67 and half degrees this can be written cos 90 degrees minus 22 and half degrees cos 90 minus theta sin sin 22 and half degrees this is root over root 2 minus 1 by 2 root 2 let us move to the third problem in third problem tan 67 and half degrees this we write tan of 90 degrees minus 22 and half what is the value of tan 90 minus theta that is cot theta so cot 22 and half degrees cot 22 and half degrees is we know root 2 plus 1 let us move to the fourth one cot 67 and half degrees this is cot of 90 degrees minus 22 and half degrees cot 90 minus theta is tan theta so this is tan 22 and half degrees so this equal to root 2 plus 1 third problem simplify 1 minus cos 2 theta by sin 2 theta okay let us do it One minus cos two theta by sine two theta. So one minus cos two theta and sine two theta formula we have to write. See one minus cos two theta is two sine square theta. Sine two theta is equal to we know that two sine theta cos theta. 
Okay, am I correct? Okay. Now this one minus cos two theta is equal to two sin square theta by two sin theta cos theta. Again, two sin square theta can be written as two sin theta into sin theta by 2 sin theta into cos theta. This 2 sin theta, 2 sin theta gets cancelled. What do we have here? Sin theta by cos theta that is nothing but tan theta. Now, next let us move to the next problem. What is the next problem? Fourth one. If cos a equals to root of root 2 plus 1 by 2 root 2, find the value, the value of cos 2 a. Let us find out the value of cos 2 a. Already in the previous discussion we have these values are to be remembered. Here given cos a is equal to root over root 2 plus 1 by 2 root 2. What does it refer? refer? It is nothing but cos 22 and half. So, cos a equals to cos 22 and half degrees. So, here a equals to 22 and half degrees. Now, we have to find out cos 2 a. Cos 2 a is equal to since a is 22 and half is 45 degrees by 2, 2 a is 45. So, cos 45. So, hence cos 45 is 1 by root 2. Fifth problem. If cos theta is equal to minus 5 by 13 and pi by 2 less than theta, theta less than pi, find the value of sin 2 theta. Okay. Here given cos theta is equal to minus pi by 13 and pi by 2 less than theta, theta less than pi. Theta lies between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. That means, theta lies in or theta belongs to second quadrant. In second quadrant, cos theta is negative, whereas sin theta is positive. So, that means, sin theta is positive. We know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1. Substituting cos theta, we get 25 by 169 plus sin square theta equal to 1. Now, sin square theta is equal to 1 minus 25 by 169. Now, here LCM 169, 144. So, sin theta is equal to root over 144 by 169 plus or minus. This is plus or minus 12 by 13. Since sin theta is positive in the third quadrant, sin theta is greater than 0. 
So, sin theta is 12 by 13, but we have to find out sin 2 theta. What is the formula for sin 2 theta? That is 2 sin theta into cos theta. So, 2 multiplied by sin theta 12 by 13 into cos theta is minus 5 by 13. So, we get here 5 into 2 is 10, but minus 10 into 12 minus 120, 13 into 13 169, this is the answer.